Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Thank you so very much for joining me here today. Happy Sunday, I hope you're having the most amazing day ever. And today we are building a Japanese inspired restaurant, which is something a little bit different for me and my channel, but bear with me because it, it might turn out okay. <laughs> You'll have to let me know because this, ha this footage has actually been on my PC for oh gosh um maybe six weeks and <laughs> I, I i finished it it's not on the gallery as i'm recording this voiceover but it will be available on the gallery by the time the video goes up so don't panic about that and I'm, i was kind of sat there thinking and I, and I finished it and i was like yeah it's something different and then i sat there and i'm like i don't even like this anymore <laughs> so sometimes i think you have to go back and revisit something and be like actually that's it's not half bad I will put it up so please let me know what you think of this one again it's something a bit different i have very recently in the last couple of weeks done a 1950s 1960s inspired retro diner so that was also a restaurant i'll link that down below in the description if you haven't seen that already that's a fun one too but i tend to be quite bad at building community lots and i i kind of wrote them off as like well i just won't do them then and then for some reason clearly over the last sort of couple of months i've felt quite inspired to try and build two very different types of restaurant so yeah please do let me know what you think um of this i i don't know whether it's going to be something that i will do regularly on the channel but what I tend to do is I tend to just build when I'm feeling inspired by something in particular. So I know Wednesday's speed build um, will be a family house because I'm currently working on that now. And I've pretty much finished with the downstairs. It's just the upstairs I need to finish. So Wednesday will be a, a family house, which I know you guys really love. I, I, I can imagine a lot, of, a lot of you play with, with families. And I think you appreciate like just just nice family houses that your sims can just move into you can start your gameplay and like boom we're done but with something like this i think this is kind of cool you know if your sims want to come for date night or they want to just come for a, a night on the town and have something good to eat and have a couple of drinks i think this is the place to do that so downstairs is the restaurant and the bar upstairs is actually an apartment which i thought was a kind of a neat idea so if you did have a sim who maybe ran this Japanese restaurant like you, they could have it as a business then maybe they could live upstairs or it's up to you they could live away from the lot but I just thought it was kind of a nice touch what I could have done is I could have turned the upstairs into like a like a seating area for the restaurant but I just thought with the with the sort of look that I was going for with this because it's kind of grungy kind of run down and it gives off this like city vibe I think it would actually look really good in San Maishuna, but I, I did keep it here because the backdrop with the mountains and, and everything else, it just it just looked really, really stunning. But I think this could still work in San Maishuna. I had a mind blank for a minute there. I was like, what's the world called that came with City Living? And I'd said it 10 seconds previous. <laughs> it is currently half past seven on Sunday morning, so maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> and I haven't had coffee yet, so anyway <laughs> so the exterior of this build as you can see there is a debug building on the right hand side there which i used just to add i didn't want it to look like this i didn't want this to be a huge lot i didn't want it to be huge huge so what i did was i, I thought if i just pop that on the right hand side there then i can build off of that and make it look like it's kind of built onto maybe a i don't know because what, what i end up doing i end up putting some like broken down furniture in front of that building there so maybe it's like an either an abandoned apartment building or it's an apartment building that nobody really cares about so i guess i'll leave that one up to you guys with what you want to do with it but yeah i i do i i make it look kind of grungy outside and kind of it's not gross and it's not like nasty i i i don't think it would put me off ordering from here necessarily i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i was going for with this but i just clearly went on a little you know um on a on a what on um, what word am i looking for here you will have to bear with me this morning i'm so so sorry and i've already tried to do this voiceover like three times and so i'm like i'm not doing it again so if i make mistakes in this one then oof, that's just it is what it is so <laughs> let's just let's just move on so as you can see the outside i i used a lot of debug items from the oh my gosh what pack am i thinking of here snowy escape from the snowy escape pack 
Um, there's a lot of really cool items in the debug menu that you can use for something like this and I think it looks absolutely fab. So you'll see me going, a lot of this video is me scrolling through debug and just working out like what items I can use and yeah I, I think it turned out quite nicely so you will have to let me know what you think please do because I'm, 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 I'm intrigued to find out I think in the front here we even put like a yeah we put like a seating area out here which I thought was kind of a nice touch because then your sims can just grab a bite on the left hand side there that's like an open window sort of thing so your sims can just rock up and then from the inside obviously for the sim to spawn like the NPC sim that will that will stand there and obviously serve your sims food and drink um, through the doors there I actually made it accessible to them as well so I think at some point I also closed it off because the lighting's really weird if you if you have a room that you've made without like a front wall the lighting looks a bit funny so I, th I think I somehow close that off I'm not entirely sure how I do it but anyway and then I'm just having a rejig of things here and then working out does this look a bit too busy right now because I'm looking at this now and I can't remember because it was such a long time ago that I built this like the final actual design of it and I'm trying to work out I, I don't know if I changed some of the bits up on the top just to make it look a bit more clean I've absolutely no idea I'd be very surprised if I left it as it is right now because immediately I'm already thinking that it looks a bit much you know so <laughs> I don't know and then I'm messing around with some stuff on the on the roof here just to see if I can if I can get anything to look a little bit I don't know whatever and then I end up using a lot of items like from debug from the eco lifestyle packs like pizza boxes empty Chinese boxes and like just making it look a little bit unkempt um, but still I can imagine the food here is probably quite nice I can imagine it so <laughs> yeah so we end up putting like a dustbin outside and then some rubbish and then here we go so that's the that's like the wardrobe um, on the outside of the other building and now we are moving on to the inside this is not a particularly long speed build which surprised me when I put the footage together um, but I did do the floor plan off camera as well which is something that I've always done you know if you are returning to the channel then that's not big news anyway and then it took me so long to work out which swatches of the floors and walls I wanted to use and so I did that off camera too I really hope you guys don't mind about things like that it's just that I, I don't want the speed build to be unnecessarily long and I am the most indecisive person on the planet and so sometimes I have to cut footage back otherwise you guys could be sat here for an hour you know watching me just like go through and just making up my mind of stuff it's not important anyway <laughs> so this is like the bar area so as you can see the inside of this build is actually really small but I think that just adds to the character of it and I and I do I, I think it looks I think it looks quite nice I don't believe no there's no way there's no room for a seating area in here but there is seating outside so maybe that gives off, gives off again that like urban sort of grungy vibe which I think is quite nice and then I thought inside it could be like quite high end because I've been into restaurants like this before where the where the outside it looks nice but it's maybe like a bit run down and then the inside's like really high end and so i think that's maybe what i was going for with this i have absolutely no idea but there are toilets on site of course there they are and then i do like a little kitchen as well so there's like a little kitchen here i don't know what use that is going to be in this build if i'm being completely honest but i just thought it was a nice addition to have if it if it's needed if it's not needed then you can make adjustments as and where you feel you need to but it's very small but I, I do believe it's functional you know it, it, it should be fine it should be absolutely fine but I think the main part of this build is this bit here on the left hand side where the, the sims can just walk up and order and then go and sit down they can come for a drink inside I think I, th I think it works I think it looks really cute it's, it's a nice idea is it executed very well that's debatable but we will move <laughs> we will move on so adding some bamboo here and then I do add a hostess station so I am not the best at knowing what community lots actually need and I do need to as I said this is not available on the gallery as I am doing the voiceover but it will be available on the gallery by the time the video goes up so I will explain everything at the end of the video and how to download it etc but I'm not too a fair with like working out what restaurants need because as you can see here I don't have so what you can do is you can you can choose 
um, restaurant as like the, the, the lot type and then it uploads and downloads as a restaurant so you sims will, will recognise that the lot is a restaurant. I'm so bad at explaining things and this is probably the worst voiceover I've ever done so I am so sorry. If you've made it this far into the build, you are a saint, you are an angel, thank you so much for bearing with me. Anyway. <laughs> Let's just move on. So now we're moving on to the last part of the build. You're probably thinking, thank God, because I don't want to listen to you anymore. <laughs> this is the apartment. It's very run down. It's very... I, I went through a, a phase of doing like these run down, grungy apartments and builds. I did a student apartment. What else did I do? Oh, I did a musician's apartment as well. So if you've already seen them, then you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. But they were like very grungy, very run down. And that was kind of what I was going for with this apartment as well. Because as you can see, it's, it's a studio apartment. It's very, 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 very small. So essentially the kitchen, dining room, living room and bedroom all fit, fit into this one space. And I think, I think I made it work. I think it actually looks pretty cool. You'll have to let me know what you think though. And then you sim sort of go around back and go up these metal stairs to get to it. I just, I just, I love this. I'd quite like to play with a sim in this build. I think it looks like a lot of fun. So there is a bathroom there and there is like a small laundry room there because as you saw from the outside, as you can see, there's like a very strange sort of cornered section <laughs> of the laundry room, which I'm, I'm looking back now. I don't know if I, I close that off or if I just sort of leave as is we will have to see we will see together won't we but um <laughs> i had like um water stains on the floor and there's like cracks in the walls the furniture's really cheap and it's probably not gonna do your sims any good as in like i know cheaper beds put you in it but you put your sims energy up slower than maybe a more expensive bed so i think these ones from these ones are from the eco lifestyle pack they're from the hidden objects menu if i'm not mistaken that like ripped duvet mattress bed is from the eco lifestyle pack and i just thought it was kind of perfect for this particular apartment so i i do i i do like this it's got a lot of character and i think it'd be quite good for like a storytelling gameplay like whatever you want to do with it but i i think it looks all right i think it looks pretty good the voiceover um, is debatable, but um, that's a that's a different discussion for a different day, isn't it? So, <laughs> oh, I'm like delirious. It's it's half past. I've, I've already told you it's half past seven in the morning. It's Sunday morning. This is how organised I am. So this video will be up later today, but I'm doing the voiceover the morning of. I wish I could. I could just. I wish I had the time to sit down and pre-record and have like four or five weeks worth of builds just ready to go but maybe maybe one day i'll get to that level but at the moment with everything that's going on with work and and just various other things it's like i just i just don't feel like i have the time so i'm just trying to upload as and when i can because what i don't want to start doing is i don't want to start putting out content that i'm not happy with but we've already talked about that, so I won't I won't keep going on about it. But as you can see, the apartment is pretty much taking shape. I, I really do hope you like this. I love doing this these grungy type builds. I think they look absolutely amazing. This is the bathroom, and then as I said, the laundry room is on the right hand side. But the moment you've all been waiting for, this video is almost over. So I will I will wrap things up now. But this restaurant is available to download from the gallery. My origin ID, of course, is Rachel Ped. Tray files, as always, are linked down in the description below. You can download them from Sim File Share. But thank you so much, everyone, for bearing with me today. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And I will see you on Wednesday for our next speed build. Take care, guys. Bye.